Hello everyone and welcome to Frugal Fellows Fashion. Today we're going to be teaching you how to tie an Eldridge knot. Now the first thing you're going to want to do with this is make sure that you get your length right on here. This is tied with the tail end of the tie so you're going to want to get the front end right from the start. And go ahead and pinch it off and make sure that your tie is between your um, belt line and your, your belly button or your I think fourth button or something. And here we go. Go ahead and crease that and bring it to the middle. You can see that lovely little crease right there. And with the tail end, come over the front, around the back like so, and up through the middle. You'll know you've done this step right if you can see the seam out on your tie. And this being nice and symmetrical right here. The way you do that is bring this to the opposite hand from where you started. All right, the next step is to, going to be to bring it across the front like so. This is kind of a similar step for you know most normal tie knots, but this is just the first step for us. All right, once you've done that, bring it up through the back and back to the same opposite side, right here. Again, your telltale sign for this knot that you're doing it right is going to be that this whole thing ends up kind of spreading and looking really symmetrical. This is an extremely symmetrical knot. All right, and the next thing that you do is come around the back Again, seam side out. And tuck this up and through that loop that you made. Before that you tighten it, it helps to bring it up under the tie like this. Again, seam side out. And then you can tighten it. That just kind of saves you a step before that you tighten it and then you, and then you have to end up tucking it anyway. It makes it go a little bit faster. All right, so you can see we're still symmetrical. Got that first piece, got these next two right here. And we're gonna end up doing that step one more time. So take your tail end, bring it up and through, and you'll have a loop right there. So go ahead and tuck under that bad boy right there. There we go. Tighten that up. Tighten. There we go. Then tuck the rest of your tie up and under your collar over here. Then once that you're done with this, see how it's still nice and symmetrical? You'll take the, the front end and the nut and just pull that up to your neck. And then just make your other adjustment over here so that your tie doesn't get creased. And there you go. Pull your collar down. And congratulations, you've just tied an Eldridge knot. Um, this is a really great knot to wear with eh, most ties, not a striped one, because that will look a little bit you know, wonky once that you're done with that. Um, and people that kind of know what the knot is will understand, but otherwise it'll just look really, really messy. So I wouldn't recommend it with stripes, but I recommend it with probably you know, anything else. You can see right here, everything's nice and symmetrical. You got the two points just about lined up and there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you later. See you later.